Hello Culture Buzz, my name is Yael Nitsa, I'm an art curator and I uh, live in uh, uh, Israel, I was born here, I live now in Kochav Yair. I would like to present you with a new exhibition in Beds of Fat in uh, Jerusalem, the Hebrew University, Givat Am. The name of the exhibition is Holocaust, Seal and Break. And, uh, and it was actually opened uh, on uh, the day of the Holocaust in Israel, and uh, it uh, conclude uh, a lot of um, artists that paint and sculpture the experience of uh, the second generation, usually of the Holocaust. Uh, we start with a, a statue made by Daniela Emmen. And she took the picture, the very, very well-known picture, of the boy that raising his hands. This boy became actually the symbol of the Holocaust. It's very, very well-known. Uh, actually, this year, I think um, seven people says that they are this child, and they wrote about, a book about these seven uh, people. What Daniela is doing, is taking the symbol and she is showing how it's fading out slowly. If you go to see actually the statue itself, you can see here it's not very high, it's about 60 centimeter high, but it's coming from face to face, and here he is losing some of his. Um, uh, um, um, coat and, and some of his legs. Here he is losing most of his body and here what is left is only his arms and his head. And this is a very, very actually a strong say that what's happening as we are slowly forgetting what was happening in the Holocaust. Now I think we can go to another very, very important artist by the name of Esti Meir. Esti Meir is living now in Montreal. She was born and raised in Israel. And she is 45 years old. About 10 years ago, when she started to learn art, suddenly she stopped doing anything else. And for six months, she was painting only 50 paintings about the Holocaust. She never knew anything about the family. She never knew anything about something to connect her with the Holocaust, but it was something that came from her in, inside. When she finishes it, she made uh, 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 the whole uh, picture. She sent to her father in Israel. Her father is a Holocaust survivor, and he was amazed because these 50 pictures, that almost 30 of them are in this exhibition, is giving all the little, uh, uh, maybe, expressions of what can the second generation feel about what was happening in the Holocaust. And this is the genius of her work. This is something very special. We will continue, of course, with Estime Meir, and uh, we uh, will go on. This is also a picture made by uh, Estime Meir. Um, we have here Sam Melzer, who has made uh, a lot of uh, statues also in the exhibition. We have here, from Italy, Luigi Viola. The same very special pictures made frame by frame. In, actually, it's a photography that was, uh, it, it shows very, very um, uh, bravely, actually, the, the, the situation of the very nice view, the very vivid colors, and all of these places are graveyards that underneath thousands of people are buried. And he took the pictures in Poland and in uh, Russia. 
Luigi Viola himself is from Italy, he lives in the Venice. Uh, these pictures belong to an artist by the name of Saka Sapan, who is a Holocaust survivor. And uh, Saka herself was starting to paint only a few years ago, and she's telling the story of her childhood. She was only two or three years old when she was hidden in a Christian family and from there in Czechoslovakia and from there she came to Israel. So it's very interesting, our pictures, that is very unique in this exhibition because most of the people are not Holocaust survivors. Uh, Amira Davidovich is a, is a very interesting story because what she is doing she is actually um, telling the story of Schindler. Schindler is a story of, about a man that helped and saved a lot of people. And this saving by Oscar Schindler is uh, memorized by Amira, which is a very, very good artist. And the, the story of her mother-in-law, Halina, has affected her very deeply. You can see here the people sitting on the on their uh, case, the, the traveling case, always waiting for to go somewhere, wandering around. The pictures of Estime here that you can see now are very, very special, very unique. All of them kept in Israel now, and we are looking for a, a, a place to show them um, in, in a regular way that people can see. What is really, really important was to show all these uh, artworks. And unfortunately, in Israel, we don't have now a place to show them. On the world, we can see still estimate years, our works. And then we can go now to Miriam Khouri, that took little episodes of life and made from them a bronze status. Very effective, very, very special. I invite you all to come to a Beit Tzorfat in the university. Everybody can enter, everybody can come from the morning till the evening, till four o'clock, five days a week, no charge. Bets of fat in the Ib University. Thank you so much.